Well, I started MIC when I was about 14 years old. I was based out in a church in uh, uh, Hillcrest, Durban, South Africa. Got together with a friend and I, and we were into rap music, and uh, we're sitting in the lounge, and on the hi-fi, the stereo, was a little microphone input. And we thought, oh, that's a cool name for a band, MIC. In 91, I met Gunter Schroeder, and Gunter and I started working on some songs together. And Gunter really brought a great influence into the band, musically. Uh, Simon joined, and that was really when we started to take things a little bit more seriously. I think as we, as we moved on, we really realized that uh, as young guys who uh, were passionate about our faith, uh, this was a great way to tell people about it. This was a great way to communicate that message. And uh, that's kind of been the heartbeat of MIC all this time. F&B summer goes to MIC. Well, I was in um, City Corp in South Africa and I was training choirs and stuff like that and I got a call from my cousin who was at that time part of MIC um, who asked me what I'd like to join and then Steve gave me a call about three days later asked me about initially joining as a sound engineer and a year later surprisingly Steve asked me to be a part of the band which is, was totally a change and a scare at first. Um, I was up at the Baptist summer camp. I was singing the worship team and Steve and the boys were singing there at the camp for the full two weeks that the camp was running and they were looking for someone new because Francois who had been in the band was about to leave. They saw me on stage there, came and asked me all about it. I was like, okay, well, we'll see. After hearing their vision, after hearing the work of MIC in the high schools in South Africa and what the heart was and the vision for evangelism in this country, after hearing that, that's really what grabbed my heart. And of the vision of the band, I, I love the vision is to travel extensively around South Africa and minister to tons of kids in schools. Yeah. The last 10 years of MRC um, has been really awesome. We've had great highs, great lows, um, and we've learned a lot. One of the greater things for us in the last 10 years has just been the change of focus. When we started MRC, we never knew it would get to where it got, and um, yet our focus was always evangelism, but it was a bit too broad, it was a little bit too wide, and in the last four years, we've really narrowed that down and focused um, mainly on South African schools and, and going into places where young people need to hear a message of hope, need to hear that they are worth something. And so that's brought a lot more substance to what we do and it has made the last five years uh, the most exciting five years of MIC. One of the things that was, was quite difficult for me or uh, challenging for me when I joined the band um, was having to start again. For, for starters, I think um, a band is a very unnatural thing. It's, it's four strangers who come together and spend almost every moment of the day together. Always keep your calm. You know, completely start again with new people. Uh, try and show them who you are. Try and uh, yeah, just be yourself without being fake. United as a band has been a challenge as well. I know it's difficult to have different kind of characters and, and trying to kind of keep the, the love element in the band. So yeah, that's been a challenge. What have you got to say? Did you ever think you'd get this far? Did you ever think you'd try that car? Got a house on the hills, money for your bills and all of the thrills. What have you got to say? Did you ever think you'd play this game? Did you ever think you'd change your name? Touring is always difficult, it's great fun, buckets of fun all the time, but uh, there's a lot of hardships. When you go on tour you want to be home, when, you, when you're home you want to go on tour. Uh, Touring is a great thing, but it, it takes you away from your, your family, your friends, your church, that sort of thing. Sleeping on a different bed every couple of nights, some of them you know, sleep on couches or whatever, trying to catch and sleep on a church pew or on the floor in a school foyer being out of your comfort zone all the time in, in a different place all the time. My utmost respect to 
to Steve for managing to do this for 15 years. For us, we, we always see that uh, if you were to put it on a scale, what's good, what's bad, it, what's bad wouldn't even be able to sit on the scale, it'd be catapulted right off because there's too much good and, and that's, that's, that's always a joy to see. I think when it goes the other way, then you probably should stop. The, the main highlight for me was um, when we had an opportunity to play in the um, Ajax football stadium. Delirious, Delirious and Ron Canoli were the opening band. Um, and that's not me showing off, it was, I, I thought it was funny myself. Performing with tons and tons of artists from uh, around the, the globe. Definitely a lot of uh, traveling, getting the chance to go all over the country, all over the world. It was just an amazing experience, 55,000 people uh, jumping up and down, uh, going crazy and I'll never forget that as long as I, I felt like Bono from U2. Meeting a lot of bands that I've looked up to or music that I've listened to over the years. My, my highlight highlight has been uh, seeing thousands and thousands of kids kind of give their hearts to Christ. Um, that's been my highlight every year, being a part of MIC. Um, and then on top of it all, the chance to do ministry, the chance to, to bring God's life and bring God's uh, character and His promise to uh, people that need them, you know, to the young people in this country that have got to deal with so much rubbish in the media and so much rubbish in their high schools and in their families where, you know, their, their families are broken, their parents have left. What? Having the chance to, to bring a life that we believe in, a life that God has given us, that I think on top of it all has got to be the greatest privilege, the greatest highlight of being involved in this ministry. One thing that I've, um, with regards to the lineup, uh, I've always looked for guys who are, who are uh, of the, the same mind and, and vision. I think, with all due respect to, to previous lineups, um, I really think that this is probably where we are finding ourselves again. Basically, the vision keeps me motivated. I mean, uh, we have a passion as, as, a, as a band to see kids saved. The things that would keep me involved in MIC is my love of my job, what I do. I love the guys that I'm working with. I love our team and I love what it is that we do. I love the music side and I love the ministry side. The All Access vision is to uh, go around South Africa and uh, minister to those people that don't know. Definitely the thing that keeps me where I am and it's something that I keep uh, going back to God and just sounding Him out and checking, checking up on this is whether it's still his call for me to be here. I got involved with MIC, I got involved with All Access and this vision because it was so clear that he had called me to it. And until he calls me away from it, then this is what I'm gonna be involved in and happily, happily involved in. You know, it goes hand in hand with our album reinvention. We just really feel that musically and, and the unity that we're experiencing with the band, just because each of the guys have such a great heart for what we do. Yeah, they bring a great creative creativity to the to the table. I really think that we are we're in our stride and we're enjoying that at the moment. So yeah, it's cool. <laughs>